In many cases, a diagram is only used to present some kind of signal paths, primitive functions, clusters, or point clouds. While you can still generate images for these tasks, why not apply some basic ASCII art to solve the most common tasks? Using ASCII art can be a lightweight and versatile way to represent such simple structures, saving time and effort compared to creating and embedding images. As with the previous ASCII art examples, LIA script has a special notation for simple line plots. These do not have to be surrounded by a code block, the LIA script interpreter will detect them automatically based on their shape. However, it is recommended to add four spaces before such an image. This has the effect that any other markdown viewer will interpret this as a code block, preserving the spaces and tabs. As you can see from the rendered image below, you can add axis names and values, a diagram title, and a legend, which is originally surrounded by parentheses. The positions of points are automatically calculated based on the given length of the two axes. All diagram titles, labels, and limits are optional. If you do not define limits, then the minimum and maximum values 0 and 1 are used by default. Next to stars, you can also use any kind of character to define another line, where the character defines the color. For example, an R marks the color red, and an A represents the color amber. As you can see in the result, the characters do not only contain color information. Upper and lowercase characters also define the size of the dots plotted, and even more than this, they define the shape. For example, with R you can think of small round and red dots, while it looks like a large triangle. That is why some lines are rather smoothly interpolated, and the A, for example, defines sharp lines. More on this can be found in section shape. If there are more points with the same character for one X value, then only dots are plotted. By using upper and lowercase characters, you can also define the size and the shape of the dots. The color codes are somehow defined by the character itself, as seen in the list. The commonly used X, plus, asterisk, hash stand for black, while G indicates green, and we had to use E for ebony, brown, since B has to be blue. We hope the color codes mostly make sense. The shape of the dot is also defined by the character, as seen in the example below. T stands for triangle, as well as A, which also makes a triangular shape. For the other characters, we had to make some decisions that hopefully make sense. As depicted in the line diagrams below, in addition to different colors, lines and dots can have different shapes, whether they are dashed, dotted, smoothed or not. And as for all other previous elements, you can apply custom styles, classes and modifiers too, by putting them into an HTML comment at the top of the diagram. And here is the same diagram, only for the lowercase characters.